Lung cancer is the most common cause of cancer death, and November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month. Joining us now is Dr. Elba Kush, a pulmonologist with Mercy Medical Center. Thanks for joining us here today. Thank you. It's a pleasure. And since smoking seems to be much less common now than in years past, why do you think lung cancer remains the number one cancer killer? So unfortunately, we're still seeing a population who smoked in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. And at that time, about 40 to 45 percent of the U.S. population has smoked. And so, yes, smoking has decreased afterwards, but it's projected that lung cancer and lung cancer deaths is going to stay for a while to be high. Um, the other thing is about 10 to 20 percent of our patients with lung cancer are non-smokers, unfortunately. And last, there are some other smoking uh, forms like pipes, cigars, marijuana, unfortunately, and e-cigarettes and vaping that do play a role, but they're not well studied in statistics and all that. So that's another form of smoking that we don't really count. It's still quite early in that process to study that. Right. And what are some of the other common risk factors for lung cancer beyond just smoking? So the number one is smoking and secondhand smoke as well. And then indoor pollution, age is a, a risk factor, unfortunately not modifiable, but then also uh, asbestos exposure and air pollution. What are some of the different types of lung cancer that there are? So mainly lung cancer, we have small cell and non-small cell. Small cell, there's a limited stage and an extensive stage. For non-small cell, there's uh, two different types, and it's stage one to four, depending on how early it presents and what's involved. Are there different, are some forms more serious than others? Yes, definitely, especially if people present with a later stage in both types, it is more serious and less, um, pro poorer prognosis, unfortunately. And how can people prevent lung cancer beyond just, you know, quitting smoking? Sure. So the risk factors are what we have to work on, so most, mostly and mainly smoking. But then the other thing is um, get screening, hopefully. So sc National uh, Lung Screening Trial has proved that screening can save lives. So if people get screened, we catch cancer early because it usually presents late, and then that's when people die because it's, it's not a curable stage unfortunately. So screening the United States Task Force Services um, recommendations is to screen people from age um, 50 to 80 who have smoked at least 20 pack years, which for example a pack a day for 20 years and who still smoke or quit within 15 years to catch people uh, early enough to get cured. How do doctors treat lung cancer? So it depends on the types. So non-small and small are the main different types. Um, just briefly, there's surgical treatment for early stages, and then there's chemotherapy, radiation, and immune therapy. All right, some great advice today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks. And if you have any ideas or